Hello, Music Bear here once again, and this time we're going to talk about uh, this guy, the frequency, and how uh, deep setting in in uh, Sunet SuperFX or Sin, as I call it, is related to uh, this button. So we open just as last time we opened the Sin GUI which looks like this and remember we are we are working on the advanced user interface so if you don't have that um, by default you have the, uh, uh, the simple user interface but you go into MISC and you switch user interface okay we also did that last time so we we'll take um, this guy up here and we go to edit instruments we come in here and it's the same instrument as last time so this uh, piano 001 uh, is a subsuit and we're going to uh, you see that is the one that's enabled so we are going to open this and it all takes place in here um, the first problem that you could encounter if you have made your own instrument or if uh, you have gotten an instrument from another source and um, there's absolutely no reaction when you move this button. Then what has happened is probably um, that uh, let's see yeah, that this has been disabled. So now uh, the filter is off and if it is off uh, you won't be able to control it from uh, the elements uh, interface. So you go in here and you say enable. Okay, that's the first thing. Um, the next thing is that uh, we're going to talk about what's a good filter. I mean, what is a good filter? Well, a good filter is a filter that will allow you to have um, a huge span in the filter. It means that you should have um, a different sound all over the span. Sometimes you have listened to a great uh, trance uh, song and you think, wow, it almost sounds like the melody is changing uh, um, as it's being filtered. And it is, because the filter takes out certain frequencies and to get that effect you will have to have a filter with a very uh, broad span preferably the whole um, span of, of, of the knob or dial uh, if you have a filter that only for instance work in this area here and then all of that means that the filter is open or you could have a filter that really doesn't have anything to, to uh, influence on, on, on the sound before you get to the, the well half open stage and then it starts to kick in and you only have that um, both of those filters uh, are, uh, are not optimal and what we're going to try to do here is to set up uh, a good filter that is a filter with a smart span that we can get uh, the next thing a good filter never should do is restrict some of the sound when it's fully open. So when it filter is fully open, it should let uh, the the uh, the sound go through as if there was no filter. Filter and resonance is intimate um, um, related, and uh, when when we blow up the resonance, we will get artifacts, but a really good filter should be able to take a lot of resonance. Now these um, values that you can see and read out here, filter resonance 127, um, it really doesn't mean anything, it's just an arbitrary value. So is the value here, 127, it's all 127. That's because um, the number 128 means a lot in computer science. Um, and uh, so why 127 some would say well that's because we count from zero so it says zero it doesn't say one so it's 128 steps so to speak um, but 
having uh, a, a big span on the resonance as well as a big span on the frequency gives you more creative possibilities. So now we know what we are aiming at, now we are going to see how we can get it. Um, I'll just put this horrible sound on and hey presto, we disappeared and we can get up again. Uh, listen to to how the filter works now okay and the resonance should probably get some artifact now I can hear a slight click it's not sure you can hear it artifacts are often clicks or like uh, squeak sounds uh, and they're almost always resonance related uh, so changing resonance will aid you to get rid of your artifacts but not always remove them completely you may have to alter uh, your um, um, amplitude envelopes we're going to look at that in a, another time um, let's take a look at uh, this now. In the filter and it is enabled and we can see that it is an analog filter and it has the type of low pass filter pole 1. Um, and um, this is actually the knob that we control from uh, the the elements uh, uh, user interface uh, the center frequency of the filter this is what follows your automation pattern when you automate um, when you automate this guy we can't automate inside uh, sin so we cannot automate this guy but um, uh, it is connected to the user interface in um, uh, in elements so we get control on this guy and um, you could say it, it 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 has to have a basic or base setup a, a base value and that is how we are going to create the good filter that I was talking about uh, by setting um, base value for these knobs and um, just as uh, Chef Ramsey and the other uh, TV chefs orders um, I have made them up um, uh, before I started here because we could sit here for hours and try to find uh, the value that will give you uh, a good filter but um, the center frequency is pretty good when we get up to about 95. So if we put it at 95, um, we are pretty good. And remember when you want to find adjust the, the, the dials inside uh, SYN, you hold down the right mouse and you can also read out the value that way we put it here and I just press red, uh, right mouse and I, I read out the value so if I move the mouse at the same time I can move the decimal value and find adjust um, to uh, uh, the value I want it's not that important that's fine um, uh, the field of resonance, uh, or Q, as it also is known as, should be about 54 or 5. So we are going to put it there. Um, this is called the velocity sensing amount of the filter. And I have found that it is best to have that fully open. Um, for some instruments, not all, but uh, the standard instrument value uh, will be here. Um, the velocity sensing should go in about 
uh, 61, 62, so we are going to put it there. And so should um, the frequency uh, tracking also about uh, 61, 62. The gain can really make havoc to your filter and the sound, um, but just you keep it where it is per default in a value of about 64. If you have artifacts, uh, you can uh, w when you set up these uh, filter values, it can be a, um, a smart thing to to just down take this, but it is very potent. Uh, so uh, the, the the result is, is is instant and quite dramatic. But those are the value, and as you can see here in the annotation, I have written them down for you, so you can. Uh, see them easy if you didn't uh, listen carefully when I was uh, taking them out. Now let's listen to the filter uh, or, or take a look at the filter and see how it works now. Um, slowly opening the filter. Let's see if we can take it down here. So. By dampening the resonance, we can get to a position where we cut off the sound almost completely. And then I can open the filter. Now. To the max value, I almost pushed my speaker from the f from the table, um, and we also have to watch uh, or rather check if this uh, now is completely open. And so listen now. Now the filter is off, and there's not a notable change, if any. I can't hear anything. So it looks like we have a filter with a nice broad span. I think I disabled it. Most certainly did. Um, with a nice broad span and a smooth um, inclination of the curve of the filler, which is very important if you want to get uh, that feeling of uh, changed well it's not this the, 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 the oscillation in Hertz that is changing when we get this uh, of course not but it's it, uh, as, uh, because that's a tone right uh, but but uh, it's 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 the quality of the, the 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 sound that is changing when we filter it um, with with um, with a slow pass filter. Right, um, I can see that the time is running, and um, there's much more to this, but this time we just came through the uh, the way to set up a reasonably good uh, filter in uh, Sunet SuperFX or SIN. Um, I'll come back to filters because there's much more to it. We have to talk about wobbles and we have to talk about formants and so on and so forth. Um, but for now um, um, I will just say um, thank you for watching and bye bye.